Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another run review. I know it's been quite a bit since I've done one of these, but today we have an absolute gem of a video to review. And this one is coming from The Holy Chicken, which if you guys don't know him, he is a crack dungeons player in my opinion. So I'll leave his channel in the description if you guys want to go check him out. But this was one of his older Cata 50 runs when he got Cata 50. So I figured this would be pretty funny to just go over and see how he played back then because i'm assuming this was probably a while ago but uh yeah let's get into this run so it did start already a little bit but that's fine because usually the start is just clearing anyway so it's not that big of a deal and of course he's got the one flow water solver so I don't have much to say about water i'll actually start posting that mod in my description too because i know someone ratted that and I, a few people have been having trouble trying to find the water solver and so I'll just leave that in the description from now on because I know that's the one I get asked a lot of questions about. Okay so it looks like he's going to take this upper split. Yes I was right. Normally I would prefer to go for the bottom one but that is just kind of because of my OCD and because Usually the bottom ones are either a puzzle, so it'll be fast or it leads to a puzzle or it'll be like the outskirts of the larger edge, which is pretty useful. And I mean, in this case, it really doesn't matter, but I think he's clearing in young too, <laughs> which does not look fun. It looks like that mini boss took a minute to kill. And he said, I'm OP. And honestly, I, I agree with this. It seems he's resorted to meleeing the mini bosses at this point, which, you know, I, I respect the strats. You got to do what you got to do. So it looks like his split ends here. Now I'm curious to see the routes. I'm assuming he probably still had pretty good routes because chicken is a good player. Oh, unless he's going back to clear first. I think that might be the case here. Maybe. So he completely avoided the lower split, which maybe that was to avoid ice fill, which is a good way to protect yourself. Just like the sponsor of today's video, ExpressVPN. A VPN is something that encrypts your online internet traffic. Basically, it's an added layer of security that allows you to go about your online business in a confident manner because it protects your information. And not to mention, I've actually used ExpressVPN before to decrease my ping while I was gaming. And also, this applies to tons of other situations as well, such as TV shows you would not regularly have access to because of your location. ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds with servers in 94 different countries. And on top of that, the user layout is extremely easy to use and understand. So if this all sounds useful to you, then click the link below in my description to sign up and get three months of free ExpressVPN. But yeah, thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the clear now. I am now realizing he is using a e-drag to clear as well, which is interesting to quite say the least. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an RCM with an e-drag, but whatever works, works, man. I'm curious if he does secrets in this run or not, because so far it looks like he's been avoiding every secret there's been. Oh my God, this donk, this donk is coming out. That must mean secrets are soon. That has to mean secrets are soon. I hope yet there are secrets. It seems like these routes are absolutely in crack too. Um, maybe this was pre before he learned routes because normally you would stonk that chest from up top and then there's cobblestone walls to come down or stairs to come down to that part instead of doing the actual super boom wall this is kind of cursed honestly this feels like dungeon routes how they were actually intended to be used so there's the string of one by ones and then that big left split is completely not cleared yet for secrets wise and he's tabbing out I think we need to cancel chicken for this run honestly he's tabbed out and he's been dodging secrets so i think this is proper evidence to put him on the dungeon blacklist somehow he beat the tank to that secret right there i'm not quite sure how that happened he goes afk by the chest it was literally right there 
Oh, he grabs the item drop. Oh, and the eye spray was missed, but it's okay. He got it with hype. Curious to see where he goes here. Okay, he is a cultured man. Wait. Maybe I spoke too soon. Never mind. He is. He is a cultured man. Even back then. Still to this day, those little trap doors make that one of the hardest entrances for a secret for me to get into. And I have no idea why. I have spent so long for trying to find a better way to enter that just to avoid that. But still, yet I cannot figure out anything else. The only thing I ever came up with was purling into there instead. But still at that point, it would just be better to TP in, honestly. And as the team increases their time in the run, it looks like their secret count has been steadily increasing, thankfully, which is needed for S+. Honestly, I think this has been one of the most confusing runs to follow ever. It has made me question whether he was cat of 30 or cat of 50, and I'm pretty sure this was his cat of 50 run. Apparently, he's saying he forgot how the floor works too, which is interesting. I'm not sure if he's referring to the dungeon or the floor under him either. Okay, we are five minutes and 40 seconds into this floor seven run. And the team seems to have cleared every single room except one one by one and they are still waiting on blood. Finally, it looks like our departure to boss is going to begin. And to say the least, I'm not going to expect much more than the clear was in boss. It looks like they are still waiting to go in too, even though the map is definitely ready to go in. You know, all I'm saying is that since this run has happened, Destrix has been very, very quiet recently. I mean, I haven't seen him post any dungeons. So, you know, this run might have intimidated him. And I am not trying to throw any accusations out there, but I, I'm just saying. For all of you watching right now, there, there might be some correlation to this. Okay, so the, it looks like the team actually knew how to do part one, which is very, very surprising to me. This was back on old floor seven as well. So this actually was a long time ago. Looks like Chicken was able to clear the pad himself and throw the Shadow Assassin into lava. Whatever works, works. As his health is getting lower. I'm honestly quite scared for his well-being right now. Never mind, he has killed the Shadow Assassin. It also seems like that crush was too hard for the team to hit, so they ended up having to up crush. Oh my, I forgot how the phase used to work. You used to only have to crush once. And we are going to see some epic terminal gameplay right here because this was when you could do other terms before one. He's crazy with the Bonzo staff movements, honestly. I think we all need a guide from him. He successfully completed a device and it looks like one is somehow going well. This run was very confusing because the clear was so bad that I was not expecting them to successfully do boss, but you know, my expectations have definitely succeeded what I thought was going to happen. And it looks like they are about to hit four soon. Possibly, maybe that was two. That would make more sense if they're on two now instead of being done with three. Oh my god, yeah, they're 1838. Chicken is going to be sitting here for a while. 
you know out of all the cata 50 runs i think this is definitely the most cursed and confusing one i've ever seen usually cata 50 runs include a good party like the perm you were playing with but you know i think this one was just party finder looks like he's absolutely cracked at the three device as well i wish i could click this fast on arrows and I think the team was doing so bad in terminals that he had to pick up and go do three while waiting for the levers. And honestly, that is quite impressive to do. So it looks like the other four players of toddlers in this party have successfully done the first two terminals and let chicken solo the rest. Now they are interesting to part four of terminals and someone somehow burnt to death, even though all the terminals are done. And there is the last lever and we are entering part four at 10 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm curious to see how this boss is going to be. I am expecting at least three people to burn to lava, one person to fall into the void, and chicken somehow almost dying but staying alive. Okay, that was not lava, but that was Necron, so I think that's basically the same thing. It's okay though, because he buffed chicken with 40 strength for 20 seconds, so. I think that's honestly going to save the run. This might have just been a strat to die and become a ghost. That way he could buff chicken. So in, in this case, I'm pretty sure he was really just sacrificing himself in order so that chicken could have the buff. And finally at 1120, it looks like Necron has died. And this was chicken's cat of 50 run. But did he get any good loot? No, he didn't. And he instantly left the party. <laughs> And honestly, I don't blame him for that. <laughs> but yeah, that wasn't too bad of a run. It was um, interesting to say the least. I was highly confused on what was going on. It seems like Chicken had forgotten secrets in the first half. But you know, that, that does happen when you're playing too much. So definitely give yourself breaks on dungeons. Otherwise, you're going to end up with dementia for secrets like Chicken did in this run. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this run review. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.